here we are with a Bruno 300 pound, 136 kilogram chairlift, the SRE 3050, and we are going to disassemble it because it's been sold. So that gives you a pretty good idea of what we've got. Probably looks a lot like what you would expect. And all I've done so far is unplug it. It's the number one thing to do when you start. Unplug it. Next thing to do is take the end cap off off the top. That's this end cap, but at the top. Don't do it at the bottom because you have to lift that chairlift all the way up. And that thing is heavy, like insanely heavy. So let's just show you how I did that. It's not very hard. There it is. So I've taken these two bolts out and then this end cap just comes off. There it is. So now we have the end cap off and what you want to do is lower the chair a bit because as you can see here, there's a safety right here. That little switch, if that switch is up, uh, which happens when it hits this plate, it's going to stop. So we have to take these two bolts out and then we will just run the chairlift right off the end onto the ground here. So I've taken a little brake stop off and the end cap off. And now we're gonna run this out and it's gonna make one hell of a bang when it hits that because this thing is crazy heavy. And yes, it's slowing down because there are different gears there and it knows that there are different gears there. There we go. So when I got to the end, I literally just had to muscle it off, just lift it off. And yeah, that thing's heavy, but one man can definitely move it. I've seen some videos where strong looking guys can't move it. And yeah, sure, you can't throw it across the floor, but it did just pull off of there, no problem at all. And now at this point, we just have to take the track off and that's a no brainer. We have to take off the mounts and the easiest way to do that, as you can see here, is there's a bolt right there on each of these and just get a socket on it. A deep socket here isn't your friend, but that's what I've got handy. So get it loosened, pull in my case the deep socket off, and then you can just pull it off by hand. And I'll just continue all the way down here, get the rest of them. So I have the four bolts off the back of this that are holding this on and now we can just lift it off. And take this away as one piece. I'm also going to put the little brake back on. Well, not the brake, but the emergency stop. Just so I don't lose it, because I don't want anybody losing parts. And I'm going to put the cap back on. And something I forgot was to pull off the two <laughs> here. So black to the end here. And then all we have left to do is pull the mounts out, which in my case is four mounts. So first take your 10 mil socket and loosen this up and then use a drill to pull it out. That is unless you like twisting your wrist. Now what's left is to collect all the parts, tape them up so that the bolts don't go missing, things don't get lost. And that is how you disassemble a Bruno SRE 3000 chairlift. And in this case, we pulled apart a 3050. As you can see here, we disassembled it and we have it ready for people to go reinstall wherever their little heart desires. Wasn't very hard to do. Hey, if you found this useful, please uh, click like and uh, subscribe is always appreciated. You can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca, that's www.urtech, or you can leave a comment below and somebody will get back to you because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.